You're watching Wish TV, News 8 and 11 with Phil Sanchez. Russia has launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, shattering peace in Europe. So how did we get here? Joining us now to explain more on the attack is Dr. Sergei Zhuk, a professor of history at Ball State University and an expert in the former Soviet Union. Doctor, always good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Why would Russia invade Ukraine? Very simple. Putin doesn't want Ukraine to be westernized, to go to the West. And it's nothing to do with uh, so-called Ukrainian nationalism. Putin, who is a former KGB man, who felt humiliated because of the collapse of the Soviet Union, and who announced his major goal to restore the Soviet Union as early as 2007, he now felt that the West was weak, the West which financed Ukraine, provided Ukraine with weapon, with uh, crazy European Western ideas. And um, uh, Putin decided to use this period of time when he had proofs of um, obvious Western weakness. Uh, Trump campaign, which was manipulated by KGB, uh, the second was, of course, uh, January 6th of last year, when Putin and his comrades uh, seen attack on uh, building of parliament in Russia. They pronounced Zdania Amerikanska Parlamenta. And uh, then, finally, they saw how Americans withdrew from Afghanistan. So Putin realized it's time for him to start his campaign. His major goal is not Ukraine, of course. His uh, major goal is to punish the West, and especially the United States. He used the old strategy of KGB. Mm -hmm. I wrote recently in my book about this. Divide and rule, and he wanted to weaken the United States. And for this purpose, he tried to challenge the United States, see American reaction to his... So, so in your opinion, this is more about the United States than it is about Ukraine? Yes, yes. And many, many people sometimes forgot that this is his challenge to Americans. He wants to punish Ukrainians. And his major goal officially, yesterday he declared this, to stop militarization of Ukraine and growth of Nazi movement fascist movement according to putin both militarization and fascism sponsored and financed by the united states is his official words doctor so earlier that, today and I, I apologize for cutting you off but earlier today president biden said during his news conference as you very well know that no one expected the sanctions to prevent anything from happening that's a direct quote so what can the u.s and its allies do to deter putin well, they need to target uh, Putin personally first. They need to show some kind of force. Uh, um, Putin is a bully. He grew up as a bully in um, poor neighborhood of Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. He used to fight. So, you know, he is, has respect for only one thing. Force. Might. And uh, uh, if Americans would demonstrate this kind of mind, but again, uh, yesterday he, in his speech, uh, he reminded Americans that he has a, a real threat for Americans. If somebody, he mentioned, if somebody interfere in Russian affairs, he would use everything possible. It was referral, of course, to a nuclear weapon. Mm. So I can recommend uh, use, uh, you know, implementation of real force, uh, help with army troops. But still, I think that if Americans will use two very important measures, first, cutting SWIFT mm. from Russia. I'm almost out of time, but I, I want to get your thoughts on how long it's going to last, in your opinion, and how far do you think he's going to go? Uh, it depends on uh, resistance of Ukrainian army, which has not enough force, unfortunately. And I'm afraid that after 
uh, Ukraine. Next target will be Baltic states, because major goal of um, Putin is to restore Soviet empire, Soviet Union. And again, the, this core of uh, Soviet empire is, of course, three brotherly nations, Russia, Belarus and Ukraine. So he need to finish Ukraine first and then attack Baltics. So this will be challenge to American politics, to NATO, and he will show NATO and America that Russia is ready to protect their interest and the uh, Russians' security, mm. punishing, of course, uh, Ukraine. And the result will be very bad. For my country, I'm Ukrainian-American, I'm afraid it will be 100,000 deaths, no. immigration. Well, it's, 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 it will be a yeah. catastrophe. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers with those folks over there. No doubt about that. Professor Shuk, thank you very much for, for joining us, and we'll talk soon, okay? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.